In this video, we're going to talk about things you can expect while traveling internationally. Welcome guys to episode 1 of my 6 episode series on international travel. So consider subscribing if you do not want to miss any part of this series. If this is your first time traveling out of the country and have no idea what to expect from the goods and the bads, then keep watching this video. Not everyone has the luxury of sitting in a toilet seat, nor do everyone have the luxury of using toilet paper. Some countries, they don't use toilet papers to do their business. They use a water hose and yes, a sprayer that yeah, you just use it to clean your business. A time while I was in Penang, Malaysia, I had diarrhea. I had to go use the restroom. When I went in that restroom, I immediately had, didn't have to use the restroom anymore because just looking at it, I had to squat down. There was just this little hole. When you visit a different country, don't judge their lifestyle. You can't expect it to be the same as your country. Otherwise, why are you traveling out of country? Aren't you there to like experience the ambiance? Different country means different cuisine. I do live in California, which is very diverse, which also means I have a lot of different type of cuisines I can try out. Of course, the cuisines here does not taste like the motherland. To be honest, sometimes I prefer the cuisines in California than the motherland. Currency in another country looks different and is different. Not every money is called dollar. There's peso, euros, dongs, and it goes on. When exchanging money, understand the currency of the country you are visiting. For example, 23,000 dong, which is Vietnamese money, is equivalent to one USD dollar. So when you're doing a currency exchange, you don't want to be exchanging one USD for 18,000 dong because that's like a 20% plus takeaway. You want to go to a currency that's like more towards 2 to 5% takeaway from 23,000. So if you're giving 1 USD, you really want to receive back like 21 to 22,000 dongs per dollar you exchange. Know that the outlets on the wall are all different from different countries. So always Google and check ahead of time. Do your research because the USA one might be just two little lines. And then Asia might be a whole different thing or Europe may be a whole different thing also. But if you talk about North America or like Canada, it's the same plug like the USA. No, not everyone speaks English, but you probably know that by now. Learn the basic language of the country you are visiting. It may go a long way. Some countries don't take tips and some just aren't mandatory. Unlike California, you're paying like a 12 to 20% on tip and some places are even 30% which is outrageous. The way things are built may be different from what you are accustomed to. I recently visited Canada, but to be honest, it's not much different from California or the United States, the architecture and the building. When I was in Toronto downtown, I really felt like it was like San Francisco downtown also. Just nicer people. But visiting a different country like Southeast Asia, the houses there are really narrow but it's more like 2-3 stories compared to America where we're like wide and long the houses. And if you visit countries in Europe, you could tell that the architectures are so much different from America. I've personally never been to Europe but I've seen many people's photos and it's just amazing out there. I, I really want to check out the architecture one day. Say you're in Vietnam, expect the population of motorbike users to be at least 10 times more than people who use cars out there. It's easier to get around by motorbike over there. And personally, I would not drive a car around Vietnam. It's just too chaotic. In episode two of my international travel series, I'll be talking about things you must bring when traveling internationally. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe for episode 2 and until then travel heads